Hello and welcome to this short demonstration of the Snake Rig from the AutoRig Pro Rig Library Blender add-on. This rig is part of a library of 24 animal rigs which can be bought at Blender Market. It's important to note that the AutoRig Pro Rig Library is specifically built for the AutoRig Pro rigging system, so you need to have bought that add-on for the rig library to work. Each of the 24 rigs comes with a locomotion animation and in the case of this snake rig, that's a slithering animation. Let me show you that from multiple angles. Uh, and just so you know, I've animated this animation on 30 FPS and not on 24 because uh, I wanted the, the snake rig and its animations to, to be game engine compatible. So uh, that's why I did that. Cool, let's get back to the main features of the rig. First of all, the main purpose of the rig is to act as a template rig that you can use to rig your own models. So if you have uh, any type of creature model that has a similar anatomy to that of a snake, you'll be able to rig that model using this template rig. Uh, cool. The rig also comes with this block mesh and uh, um, uh, the whole purpose of the block mesh is to act as a visual guide a visual guide for the placement of the bones of this rig within your own model. So you can uh, delete it if you have no use for it, that uh, it doesn't do any harm. But it's uh, just something I've added to make the uh, placement of the bones of this rig within your own model more, uh, more easy, basically. Okay, let's turn the rig back on and go to the main controls of the rig. First of all, we have this uh, position uh, controller which lets you position the rig within your scene. We have this trajectory controller that you can use to animate a certain type of trajectory for the rig. Uh, we have this tail master controller which you can use to animate all the tail bones at once. Of course you can also animate each individual tail bone. And we have this head controller and if I turn on the tool tab you see that it comes with this headlock and let me show you what that does. Uh, if I select this neck controller and I move it around you can see that everything including the head follows its orientation. But if I now toggle this headlock and I do it again you can now see that the orientation of the head keeps facing forward. So that's nice. Um, yeah, that's what the headlock does. Um, yeah, in all honesty, it's a simple rig, so there's not not much to uh, to show. But uh, um, if you have any more questions, please feel free to contact me on Blender Market. I'm always happy to help. But uh, yeah, thank you for watching.